Hey, what's up? It's your boy Jojo Fries. And today is going to be a little Blu ray DVD hunting. I really had an itch to go to Family Video, but they closed the one right up the street from me. So now I'm going to have to go to one of the locations that we still have around here, about 15 minutes away. Hopefully, they have some nice shit. In the Family Video, we go. Here we are in family video, one of the last locations. Pretty sad being in here. Hopefully I can find something. Oh, the Three Ninja movies. I used to love those. Hopefully we can find something more. I got something right now, but it's a long drive for one thing. Good boys. Love that movie, real funny. Hellfest, another good one, and Hobbs and Shaw. Um, that's the first thing to you know. <sighs> and that seems like it's about it for this family video. Sucks. I got something though. And that was my trip to family video. It was sad, cause some of my best memories from back in the day was getting some money together, going up to family video, buying whatever movies I wanted. This location, though, didn't have too much for sale. It was weird, but I did find something, and I'll show you at the end of the video. R.I.P. Family Video. You'll be missed. Now, since I'm out here, might as well stop at Best Buy and see, see if they got anything good. Into Best Buy. We go. Here we are at Best Buy. <sighs> and they want 38 bucks for the Twilight Zone. I got it at Walmart for 30. That Breakfast Club is pretty sweet though. I might have to get that. I really wanted to see Countdown. But for 25 bucks, I don't think so. Wrong turn, one through five, 14.99. Seems like a good deal. I might have to pick that up. Ooh, just got out of Best Buy. They had a bunch of shit in there I wanted, but I picked up one thing. Trying to be smart with my money. But it was something I really wanted. I seen that FYE about a week ago for like eight bucks more. So really, I got lucky as fuck. Found it here for 20 bucks. And you'll see what it is at the end of the video. There's also a Dollar Tree right there. And they just got a new shipment of Dollar Blu-rays and DVDs. So, fucking I'm here. Might as well check it out. I don't think I'd ever buy shrimp from the Dollar Tree. Here you go, Heather. Sorry for throwing yours away. Alright, just got out of Dollar Tree. Picked out one movie there for a buck. Show you at the end of the video. I will show you one thing I picked up though. Heather. There you go. My final stop. The Salvation Army. Here we go. <sighs> Not really seeing anything too crazy. Hopefully I can find something. Hey, well, the Salvation Army was a bust. There's a couple things in there, but I would just be wasting my money getting them because I probably wouldn't watch them for a long time. Saving money one-on-one. All right, it's your boy JoJo Fras back home from my adventure. And I picked up three items to from Family Video. I picked up Ready or Not for $4.99 on DVD. This is something I wanted to get on Blu-ray, but for $4.99, fuck it. Also, from Dollar Tree, picked up a movie called Slate or some shit. It's from the producers of Get Out, so for a buck, figured why not. And now the one I really wanted. Went to Best Buy, was looking around, seen a couple things. 
I really wanted to get that Breakfast Club uh, still book, but then I seen this and I just knew I had to get it. Slumber Party Massacre on still book. They had this at FYE for like twenty seven ninety nine. I was I didn't get it. I wanted to, but I didn't. At Best Buy, it cost $19.99. So I'm real excited about this. So I got this, this, and this. All for the same price. But I would have just got this at FYE. So I saved money. But that was my first adventure. Blu-ray hunting. I hope you guys enjoyed. Plenty more to come. And pretty soon I'm going to give you guys a sneak peek into my movie dome. Stay tuned.